Hello, and welcome to TPM's 3 Minute Thursdays. My name is Robbie Hoyler, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom weldment profile inside of SOLIDWORKS. If you've never created a custom weldment profile inside of SOLIDWORKS before, the task can seem kind of daunting. So what I want to do is actually review how to create a weldment and how to select a weldment profile. On my screen, I have a sketch that I'm going to use to create my welded structure. Inside of my weldments tab, I'm going to launch the structural members command. Once you've launched this command, and this dialog is going to appear on your screen every once in a while to remind you of the folder selections. I have these three selections here. Inside of the standard folder, this is going to be the first folder structure you need to have inside of Windows Explorer. And in this case, I'm going to show you ANSI inch standard. And I have many types to choose from, but in this case, I'm going to select my aluminum channel standard. And then the third option you have is the size. The size folder is where you're going to store all of your sketched profiles that will determine the shape and size of the profile that you're going to use. And then from there you'll select your groups, which I'll show you in momentarily. If you do not have this folder structure already set up inside of SOLIDWORKS, you need to do this first before you create any custom weldment profiles. So I'm actually going to cancel out of this command and remind you that inside of SOLIDWORKS, inside of your file locations, you have a default weldment profile file location that you need to check. By default, it's inside of your C drive, program files, SOLIDWORKS Corp, SOLIDWORKS, Lang, English, and then you'll have a weldment profiles folder all the way down in there. I highly recommend you change this from the default because every time you reinstall SOLIDWORKS or you run through an update, it is going to completely erase your weldment profiles with a completely new folder. So anything that you have saved is going to be gone. In this case, I changed my file location to the desktop and I have a weldment library folder. Inside of Explorer, my weldment library has a standard folder. Inside of my standard folder is my type. And right here I'll mention if you have a configured weldment profile, this is where that file is going to go. And then if you have a normal weldment profile, it's going to go inside of this folder. So let's review. You have to have your weldment library folder. You have to have your standard folder. If you have a configured profile, it goes here in the type location. And if you have a normal profile, it needs to go inside of your type folder. And then your size will be selectable here. Thank you for listening to TPM's 3 Minute Thursdays. This is part one of a two-part technical tip. Part two, we are going to show you how to create the actual weldment profile sketch and how to load that into the library. So please look for that video link below this video and we'll see you next week.